screen you see the chassis along with different view geometry, side view geometry, fish bones, damper and our steering model as well. So from this we have to extract the coordinates required in the Lotus. So before uh, starting that, if you check uh, the getting started on the Lotus so software PDF, it shows you that the coordinate system used in Lotus is something like this. So this is how it is. It's the uh, origin point of the coordinate system will lie in front of the vehicle with Z going in upward direction, X going in rearward direction, Y going towards the right side of the vehicle if you're sitting inside the car. So we'll have to make a coordinate system uh, according to this one so that we can get accurate measurements. So let's do that. Since we have our origin uh, inside the vehicle over here, we can't take these measurements, these coordinates for our uh, uh, reference in the Lotus. So I'll just quickly show you how we measure the uh, coordinates. So in the tab section, you have this evaluate tab. You go to evaluate tab and select measure. And once you go to measure, you will select the point you need. For example, if I want the lower wishbone front pivot point, which is this one, it will give me the values for X, Y, and Z coordinates over here. And then I can write it down in Excel so that it can be copied later on into the Lotus software. So uh, since these values are according to this origins, this origin, we cannot take these values as the Z, Y, and X are not in the direction which are required. So uh, we'll have to make a new coordinate system to do that. First of all, let's start a sketch on the plane which bisects the chassis in this way. I'll start a sketch in this plane and in this plane, uh, let's make it normal too. I'll make a horizontal line that will coincide with my origin, something like this. And I'll give the distance of this point from origin something arbitrary, let's say 2650 mm. And uh, this distance will not have any effect on the working of our Lotus or our suspension geometry as such. You can take this distance as, as long as you want or as short as you want. Only thing is this point should be ahead of the chassis or ahead of the car. So uh, that's why I've kept it a little bit further than the frontal most part of the chassis. So that's why I've selected 2650mm. So once I've drawn this line, uh, I only need one line in this sketch. I'll just exit the sketch. Again, on the same plane, which was the front plane in this case, I'll start another sketch and I will draw a vertical line starting from this point, the end point of this line. I'll draw a vertical line over here. And no matter what height you draw it, it doesn't matter actually. Uh, I'll just exit the sketch with, with this line drawn. Now, we have, uh, if you see in the tree, we have two sketches which uh, with one line each into them. So there's only one line and one sketch and like that we have two sketches. With that, we'll start creating the coordinate system. So to create a coordinate system, we'll go to features, reference geometry and coordinate system. And if you see in the property tab, it will ask you uh, three to four things, which are first of all, it will ask me the origin point. So the origin point that I want uh, it to have will be somewhere around here. This point, the intersection point of this line and it will ask me what uh, will be my x-axis. So we'll just go back to the image right now and we'll see where our x-axis should be pointed. So we know that our x-axis should be pointed in the rear words of the vehicle. That's how we'll select our x-axis uh, over here. And it will ask where my y-axis will be. Since uh, we have not drawn the y-axis, so we can directly select z-axis because we have drawn this line. We can select the z-axis directly from here as this. Now again, if you see in this figure, we have the x-axis in this image. You will see the x-axis going from front to rear and the y-axis coming from center to right. In our case, that's not happening because our x-axis is going from front to rear and our y-axis is going from center to left. So to invert that, you can just uh, select the x-axis box over here and select this reverse x-axis direction and you'll get the kind of point that you wanted. This is the line you select. So here we have it. The X is pointed towards the rear, the Z is pointed up, and the Y is pointing towards the right. So this is how we uh, define our coordinate system. I can click OK. Now, you'll see this coordinate system name here. I'll just uh, rename this. You can rename uh, it whatever you want. I'll just rename it Lotus uh, Origin. So I'll just rename this Lotus Origin just so that we know it's the origin of uh, the Lotus software. So uh, once we're done with that, I'll just hide these two sketches, which are these lines. We don't need to see them anymore. And we'll go to measure now. And when I go to measure and select one of these points, which is okay, this point, which is front pivot of the lower wishbone point, you will see I have an option under here 
relative to i can select lotus origin and you when i select this you'll notice the x y and z coordinates over here will change so make note of this it is with part origin right now and when i click on lotus origin these coordinates change which are uh, from this coordinate system so there we have it and uh, with that actually take our coordinates to the excel file so i'll quickly open the excel file and show you how we can write each and every coordinate down okay so here we have it the excel and our solidworks screen so first point that we need is the lower wishbone front pivot point so for that we'll uh, select the lower wishbone front pivot point and we'll see what uh, the coordinates are and we'll write down the coordinates over here so in x the coordinate is 1400 again let's just check if uh, the lotus origin is selected make sure this is selected once you select this you can continue with writing the coordinates over here so it's just 1400x in x direction the coordinate is 1400.21 and in y direction this is 358.59 and in z direction it's 118.24 